Okay, gosh golly, where do I even start? Curse Noob Season 3 has been cancelled through an unfortunate announcement. I'm still very upset about the situation and have some heavy brainstorming to do for the future of the channels. If you guys recall, I have an informative series known as the Spawn PK Library series and I've been wanting to revisit this concept for a very long time. However, the biggest obstacle for that series was time and the degree of difficulty that comes with consistently uploading analytical videos. Today, I have a very special treat for you guys something in the making for several years now we're finally doing it on april 1st of 2023 another analytical video the well of goodwill what what the fuck and why it is hands down the best thing that spawn pk has ever seen the well of goodwill was introduced to spawn pk on may 14th of 2019 next to the legendary ethereal contest host and well it's just too good back then you would contribute specific items for an individual amount of points and further progress the server goal once this goal had been reached the entire server will receive whatever boost corresponded to the ad and back then these were some of the perks that you could expect doubled blood money drops from Edgeville, which means more money. Bruh. A chance at mystery boxes via Edgeville, which means more money. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Double chance for statutes and artifacts, which means I think you get the point, but wait, there's more. February 22nd of 2023, Community Driven Update number 4 introduced a buff to the Well of Goodwill. Not only does the Well ask for more money, but this good addition to the game actually came with some pretty good buffs. The Well of Goodwill overhaul. The Well of Goodwill is hungrier than before. <laughs> What? Requiring more bags to fill it entirely. And in return, it will now cycle a random buff between a variety of brand new server-wide boosts. 10% drop rate bonus for 3 hours, times 2 Slayer and Blood Slayer points for 3 hours, stackable with the Blood Slayer Crystal, plus 25% chance of Superior Wilderness bosses for 3 hours, times 2 chance for Statutes and Artifacts for 3 hours, this is stackable with Mini Pets, etc. And times 2 Hotspot points for 3 hours. Now I want my viewers to think of all the broken customs on Spawn PK and ask themselves which one of these are the absolute strongest. Would it be the dreadful ancient Hydra, the infamous unholy behemoth pet, or maybe you find the divine and unholy hawks to be downright repulsive. There's definitely some S tier material in this listing, however, are any of these really good? The Well of Goodwill has already done far more for the Spawn PK community than the Unholy Behemoth pet. Don't even get me started on the Hawks. I suppose that would leave the Ancient Hydra pet, and although that pet is insanely broken, the Well of Goodwill is just too good, man. The Well of Goodwill's power scaling was already one that transcends reality. It is mere fiction. However, with all the buffs that Ryan gave it recently, I genuinely think it's global scaling now. Like, this shit's universal. Soul. Like my kush. No. Ao420 video coming soon. This will easily be a fourth media coverage on this matter. Can anyone or anything compete with the Well of Goodwill? Taking a look at Spawn PK's high scores, these are the top five PKers that we have. So, if you haven't caught on by now, this video is a tribute to April Fools. It is a joke, not to be taken seriously at all. I just wanted to post something for you guys since it's been a lot of radio silence ever since season 3 went down. My loyal viewers will know that I'm no quitter and while I'm completely devastated by the loss of footage, I have plenty more that I can provide for you guys and have been working very hard behind the scenes. The biggest project that I'm going to be working on for April is an updated pet tier list video and I'm also going to be revisiting my top 10 most favorite pets for PvP. The question I have for you guys is, do you think the list will remain the same? I think not. I will be trying my best to post a bit of content during the month of April, so expect more PK commentary, sesh videos, and even the Spawn PK Library series.